Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey, author of two best-selling books, No Less Than Greatness and Building Your Field of Dreams, which became a PBS special. I'm also the founder of Life Mastery Institute. Mahatma Gandhi once said, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. When what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. So what does this mean? Well, you don't get to not think. At any given time, you're having thoughts. You're speaking words throughout the day, and you're taking actions throughout the day. When we're thinking one thing, saying something else, and actually doing something else, we start to feel a rattle inside ourselves. No one else may ever notice, but probably they will. But over time, we feel more and more disconnected from our own life. We learn not to even trust ourselves. We begin to feel a bit suspicious, not only about ourselves, but about other people. It creates a smaller and smaller and smaller life inside ourselves. So when you want to have more aliveness, when you want to have more freedom, when you want to feel better about yourself, when you want to feel better in your own skin, one of the places to start is by looking for increasing our own integrity. And the way to do that is take a look at the agreements you have made. Look at the agreements I've made, including an agreement so seemingly little as I'm going to clean out the garage, but I don't clean out the garage. I'm going to clean out the garage, but I don't clean out the garage. We tell ourselves, I'm going to clean out the garage, but I'm not cleaning out the garage. And pretty soon, every time I walk past the garage, I feel this shrinking inside myself, like, oh, there's that garage again. One of the things that you can do is take a look right now and write down all the agreements that you have on your plate that you've made, and then decide either to keep that agreement discard that agreement, renegotiate that agreement. Just say, you know what, I know I said I was going to come and help you move, but let me tell you it's just not going to work out. I'm not going to be able to help you move, and I'm sorry, but clean it up so that you can live in integrity with yourself. What I did with the garage, when I had this garage agreement that was bothering me a few years ago, and every time I went past the garage, I would go, oh, I haven't done the garage. I renegotiated. I took a look, a good look one day at my garage. I took a good look at my calendar. I said, I am actually not going to do that garage probably, and then I put a date on the calendar, and then I kept the date with myself. Now that's a seemingly really small little thing, but the energy that it cleared up in me the minute I renegotiated that agreement with myself, I no longer let myself feel bad for not keeping an agreement that I wasn't going to keep, I just renegotiated it. Now there are traditions on our planet where a once a year look at all our contracts is part of the tradition, a spiritual tradition for keeping clean with ourselves and our community. So what are the agreements that you have made? When you do what you say you're going to do, you have integrity. And if you find that you commit to things that you don't follow through on, the first step is just to acknowledge that and then do your best to clean it up. Going forward, be mindful of your words. Your words are powerful. And when you commit to something, have a clear intention that you're going to make good on it. Schedule it in, do what you can to make that happen, or renegotiate it and get it off your plate so that you don't have a lot of unfulfilled commitments hanging around that actually drain your energy and, create, and actually, I believe, create leaks in our boat when we're trying to navigate life's waters. When your words and your actions are in harmony, you come to trust yourself. And interestingly, you start to trust others in a greater and freer way. That increases your level of happiness, it increases your level of confidence, and deep down, it increases your sense that you're on a really good track forward. So for more tips on how to create a life that you truly love living, click to download a free copy of the ebook, Stronger Than Circumstances, Three Proven Methods for Overcoming Fear, Limitation, and Procrastination in Achieving Your Dreams. Thank you.